In this video, I'll be showing you how to block profanity and toxic words in your server, and also we'll be doing some spam prevention. That's what I'm talking about. Wow! We start off right away with profanity filter. For this, I recommend using the bot called Arcane, which provides you with an option to blacklist words. I prefer using a dictionary of blacklisted words because there are several things that people say that are not necessarily considered profanity, but that are equally hurtful. So manually blacklisting words gives you more control over what is and what is not acceptable in your server. And believe me, people will test these limits. There's something about the anonymity that Discord provides that make people feel like they can be their worst selves online. And if you're too loose with profanity, your server will turn very toxic very quick. The bot's website is arcanebot.xyz. We do all the process of adding the bot to our Discord server and come back to the site. We log in with Discord and we go to the Manage Servers tab, choose your server, and under Moderation, click on Configure. You can review all of the settings and turn on the ones that fit your needs the most, but the one I'm looking for is the blacklisted words one. We turn it on and we write down the words we want to block separated by commas and without spaces. This site feels weird because it doesn't have like a save button, so all changes you make are automatically saved. Below you will find the option to delete or warn. Let me show you both. This is just delete and this is the delete and warn. In this case the warn part doesn't mean like a strike, it just means that the bot will let the user know that they're using a blacklisted word. The warning option is best because it informs people what they're doing. The delete option just erases the message and they might just keep trying to say it without knowing that they're not allowed to do that. Now let's move on to spam prevention. This one I think me6, it's the best for the job. We'll set up a few features to stop these. After adding the bot to our server, go to me6 website, me6.xyz and go to the dashboard. Click on the moderator plugin and scroll down to auto moderator. Here you will find various options to stop spam in your server. As a basic navigation tool with these, you will have the settings plus option, which allows you to add the channels and roles you don't want Misix to enforce these rules on. You activate them by selecting either delete message, warn member, or both. These options are kind of self-explanatory, so I'll just comment on the ones that might not be as clear. For example, repeated text. This one only blocks repeated text sent within a single message. If you send the same text on several messages, it fails to block it. I talk more in depth about this in the rape prevention video. And where is it again? You know, description. Mass spoilers. This one blocks attacks that includes too many of these, which are necessary and annoying. And Salgo is this kind of text, which is not only almost impossible to read, but it can cause Discord to lag if the message is too long. Go on and set this up on your Discord server, and before we move on to the next module, please hit the subscribe button and help me out. That concludes the moderation module in this course. If you have any suggestions that might help others, feel free to leave them in the comments below and stick around for the next video in this course, which will show up on your screen right about now.